Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Mahmoud. Welcome to Khuberi School's YouTube channel. This video is for grade 7, unit 6. Let's eat lessons 1 and 2. Let's start with the new vocabulary. And we have some countable nouns like beans, biscuits, cakes, olives, peppers, raisins, crisps, figs, nuts, tomatoes, vegetables. Beans, biscuits, cakes, olives, peppers, raisins, crisps, figs, nuts, tomatoes, vegetables. Some uncountable nouns like cheese, chocolate, cinnamon, hummus, juice, meat, coconut, fish, fruit, rice pudding, salad, sugar. And now with the key vocabulary like bring, brought, delicious, enough, fridge, ingredients, online, perfect, prefer, preferred, recipe, review, sweet. Some cooking verbs like add, added, boil, boiled, cook, cooked, stir, stirred. Some kitchenware like bowl, cup, saucepan, teaspoon. Some additional vocabulary like count, counted, cupboard, field, kitchen, name, named, a bit, hot chocolate, and instructions, ready, share, shared, slowly, the whole, what about, what food. Some prepositions like put something into, Eat when at late, on top, decide to, plus infinitive. Some language expressions like make a recipe, make food, make lunch. Words and opposites like healthy, unhealthy, countable, uncountable. Some confusing words like recipe, receipt, stir, star, fridge, bridge. Prefer, prefer. To differentiate between the two words, recipe and receipt, here we have the meanings of them. Recipe, a set of instructions telling you how to prepare and cook food. Receipt, a piece of paper which proves that money, goods, or information have been received. Stir and star. Stir to mix a liquid or other substance by moving an object such as a spoon in a circular pattern. Star, a very large ball of burning gas in space which is usually seen from Earth as a point of light in the sky at night. How to write about a dish recipe? There are a lot of recipes, but I like Rose Bilevan, Egyptian rice pudding. There are a lot of rice pudding recipes online, but this is my favorite. It's easy to make and there's enough rice pudding for the whole family. There is a lot of sugar in the recipe, but I like sweet food. This is the recipe. First, put rice and water in a saucepan and boil them for 20 minutes. Then add milk slowly and sugar as you stir. After that, put the rice pudding into bowls and put raisins, cinnamon, and nuts on top. Finally, put the rice pudding in the fridge. Listen to Nadia and her brother Omar. Which two things do they not have? Let's make lunch. I think we've got all the food. There's some salad. Is there any hummus? No, there isn't. But there are some olives. There are some peppers too. Good. Is there any cheese? Yes, there is. I've got it. What about figs? Are there any figs? No, there aren't any figs. There are some raisins. That's good. Read the recipe and about these pictures in the correct order. Rose lemon, Egyptian rice pudding. Ingredients, one cup of rice, two cups of water, three cups of milk, one cup of sugar, quarter a cup of raisins, quarter a cup of nuts, quarter a teaspoon of cinnamon. In instructions, put the rice and water in a saucepan. Boil the rice and water for 20 minutes.
Add the milk slowly as you stir. Add the sugar and stir again. Put the rice pudding into bowls. Put the raisins, cinnamon, and nuts on top. And finally, put the rice pudding in the fridge. Read the reviews of the recipe who did not like it. Really easy. This is a great recipe. It's really easy to make. There aren't a lot of ingredients and it's very quick to cook. Fauzi. Okay, but a bit boring. I like this rice pudding, but it isn't my favorite. I think there are too many raisins. I don't like them. I prefer rice pudding with coconut. Hannah. Perfect. There are a lot of rice pudding recipes online, but this is my favorite. It's easy to make and there's enough rice pudding for the whole family. There's a lot of sugar in the recipe, but I like sweet food. Nabila. Not like my mom's rice pudding. My mom's rice pudding is delicious, but this rice pudding isn't very good. There is too much sugar and there aren't enough other ingredients. Salim. Read the reviews again. Are these sentences true or false? The first one is already done. Fauzi and Nabila think the recipe is very good. True. Fauzi thinks that the recipe is easy. True. Hannah likes the raisins in the recipe. False. This is Hannah's favorite recipe for rice pudding. False. Nabila makes the rice pudding for her family. True. Salim likes rice pudding with more sugar. False. Choose the correct answers from A, B, C, or D. Okay, I don't like this tea. There is too much sugar in it. There are a lot of food recipes online. You shouldn't eat those crisps because they are unhealthy. Cinnamon is a natural drink and is very healthy. Okay. There is a cinnamon drink for the whole family. Raisins are dried grapes. Can you tell me the ingredients of that dish? After we put sugar in tea, we should stir it. Okay. Which of these is not an ingredient? Stir. Teaspoons, saucepans, and cups are usually in the kitchen. I like crisps, but I prefer nuts. We can't count sugar. And now time for grammar. And today's grammar is about countable and uncountable nouns. Let's start with uncountable nouns. We have some uncountable nouns like meat, sugar, salt, cheese, salad, juice, hummus. Uncountable nouns do not have a plural form. We cannot count them and we cannot use a or an before them. For example, there is some bread on the table. There isn't any meat in the dish. This meat tastes nice. Countable nouns like cakes, figs, olives, and tomatoes. Countable nouns are nouns we can count. They can be singular or plural. Use a or an before a singular countable noun. The plural usually ends in s. Let's have some examples of singular countable nouns. There is a restaurant in this street. This is not an olive, it's a peach. 
Some examples of plural countable nouns. There are some shops in the street. There aren't any peppers. Some and any. We use some for affirmative sentences. For example, there are some figs in this dish. There is some rice in this dish. We use some in yes or no questions that are offers and requests. For example, would you like some tea? And it's an offer. Can I have some books? And it's a request. Any. We use any for negative sentences and questions. There aren't any olives. Has kosheri got any meat in it? Quantifiers. Quantifiers like a lot of, enough, too much, too many. We use a lot of with plural countable nouns and uncountable nouns. For example, there is a lot of sugar. There are a lot of rice pudding recipes. We use enough with plural countable nouns and uncountable nouns. There are not enough chairs. There is enough rice pudding for all the family. We use too many with plural countable nouns. There are too many raisins. There are too many people in the party. We use too much with uncountable nouns. There is too much sugar. There is too much rice and fish. And now time for practice. Okay, I don't like this tea. There is too much sugar in it. There aren't any notebooks in my bag. Is there an MP3 player? There is some cheese in the fridge. Okay. Are there any apples on the tree this year? There are too many people in the market today. She wants to buy another book, but there isn't enough money with her. There is not enough rain for orange trees to grow in the desert. Okay, eating too much chocolate is unhealthy. Do you want some sugar? Dear friend, do you have enough to eat? Yes, thank you. Read and correct the underlined words. There aren't too many tomatoes. We don't need to share because there is enough rice for everyone. Is there a mobile phone with you? Could I have an olive? I don't have much money, only 500 pounds. Ask and answer questions about food. What food do you like? I like salad and meat. What food don't you like? I don't like olives. Is there any cheese? Yes, there is. Are there any biscuits? No, there aren't. Complete the following dialogue. Okay, is it important to eat healthy food? Yes, of course. What food do you like? I like meat and salad. What about you? I like fruits and vegetables. What food don't you like? I don't like olives. I like sweet food in my meal. Are there any raisins in your meal? Yes, I like raisins on rice pudding. 
Thanks for watching and see you next video and goodbye.